Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy Economic Calendar of the Week. Each week, our news analysts review the upcoming economic events that you should be monitoring during the week. Last week was expected to be quiet, but you can never predict what will happen. Monday and Tuesday lived up to expectations, but the Federal Reserve minutes started the market roller coaster. The Fed minutes were more dovish than expected, which started a gold rally and sent the US dollar tumbling. Friday was a bloodbath for global equities after Chinese manufacturing data moved farther into control traction, upsetting investors after a month of stimulus from the Chinese government. Oil prices fell to new lows as inventories climbed, weighing on energy equities. This week, we'll once again focus on the upcoming Federal Reserve decision. Federal Reserve officials want to lift short-term interest rates above zero before the year's out, based on continued improvement in the labour market and reasonable confidence that inflation will head higher. They're getting no help from financial markets right now. Most of the turmoil in credit markets markets has until recently been concentrated in the energy sector, which is getting hit by a plague of crude oil prices, which fell below $40 a barrel in New York trading Friday for the first time in more than six years. But the selling has become more broad-based over the last few weeks, pushing up borrowing costs for companies across a wide range of industries. Other measures of financial conditions show tightening as well. An index maintained by economists at Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated points to the tightest conditions since October 2011, in large part due to the recent surge in the value of the dollar versus other currencies. And then there was Greece. A day after Alexis Tsipras resigned as Prime Minister and called new elections, a couple of dozen members of the Syriza party broke away to form a new party they called Popular Unity. Party leader Panagoitis Lafazanis immediately held a press conference and said the breakaway group would campaign on an anti-bailout ticket. As we move into the height of the vacation season with UK summer bank holiday on Monday, traders will be leaving their offices early this week to enjoy the end of the summer. The calendar is almost bare. There are the standard weekly releases, but nothing to excite. There will be a lot of Federal Reserve speakers on the calendar ahead of the US Labor Day holiday weekend. Monday is void of events. Tuesday brings New Zealand inflation data and German EFO reports and then US consumer confidence. Wednesday's big event will be the crude oil weekly report. Thursday's main event will be the US spending home sales. And then Friday, the week will end with the UK GDP.